Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we're comparing the gold standard Concept 2 versus the complete knockoff. A rower that looks, I wanna be clear on this, looks the exact same as one of the best selling conditioning devices ever created. And here we have this one. And just so you know, this one is about half the cost. But is it good? Let's find out. Okay, just a quick breakdown, Concept2 Model D rower. It's now called the Rower. This is the premier rower. Anytime we do a rower review, which we've done many, including the best smart rowers, this is kind of the one where we compare everyone against it. It's the one that you used in the CrossFit Games. It's the one that used by crew members that are like rowing off water so they can actually perform on water. It's just the one that people really like. And it's one of the most durable, consistent, simple devices in any gym, including home gyms. There's a reason that this model specifically is in nearly every home gym, CrossFit gym in the world. And it's just because it's so dang good, requires so little maintenance, and gives a tremendous workout. Now this one. This one is made by, or the company's name is Mertiso. Now I wanna be clear here, there are many of these type of rower on Amazon, but I never gave it a thought until Sam, one of our team members here at GGR decided, hey, I'm not gonna to listen to Coop and his recommendation and buy the one that he recommends, even though I really like him and I talk to him all the time and I take all his recommendations. No, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna buy the really cheap thing and bring this in. And then he said, Coop, you have to see this. It is really freaking good. So I decided to bring it in and this is what we have. This one is called the Murder Cell Rower. As I showed you, pretty much every part of it sands the monitor, looks and somewhat feels the exact same as the C2 rower. But is it as good? Is it worth buying versus a C2 rower even though it's half the cost? Here's the things that aren't the same. Number one, the shock cord. The shock cord that's used on this is very tight. Now I tried to adjust it, it's at the end of its length, but the shock cord is what allows this system to pull back in. It actually goes in so hard, it's like very annoying, like I don't know why they made it so hard. I think it's something that you could, if you really worked on it, you could fix it. Over time, it will also lengthen, but something to be aware of. Not a major deal, but I did wanna make it clear on a difference. And this is kind of just in general, the overall build of this is using cheaper plastic. It's the same weight, we weighed it, even though this is listed online as 35 pounds or so, and the Concept2 rower is listed around 57 pounds, they are pretty much the exact same weight. I don't know why they listed the same, which means that like the metal that's used, the gauge of steel, that sort of thing is very similar. A lot of this is aluminum, like this mono rail we're on here is aluminum, and the mono rail is actually very smooth, but what prevents this seat from rolling really well is the cheap plastic rollers. This is something to think about. Concept2 sells every part of the rower as spare parts on their website. So you could essentially pick and choose different parts of the rower that you wanna improve and add to and put them in here. Even the shock cord, you could buy the shock cord from Concept2 and replace it. Now, obviously that's gonna start increasing your cost to the point where you might as well have just bought a C2, but it is cool that you could buy a very cheap model and something breaks on it it's the same exact parts pretty much, and so you could buy the one from Concept2 and plug and play. In fact, they're so similar, you could replace the monitor that's on here with the PM5, which by the way, this monitor is awful. It's a very bad monitor. Like that's kind of expected with these cheap, you know, equipment is the electronics typically suck. This one does. Now just other fit and finish things. Like this has been sitting in my garage right now, the videographer is wearing a hooded coat because it's so cold in here, but that does affect equipment. And so you can tell like this plastic is somehow being affected by this because last night this foot sleeve, like there was no issue and now it's like warped to the side. There's also like some missing bolts. There's different plastic. Oh, something broke. There's different plastic on some parts of it, like right here and right here that have chipped off. Like the plastic parts that are on here are very cheap. 
the aluminum and like the metal that's on here feels very similar to concept two, honestly, but all the different plastic bushings and like the foot sleeves, the plastic that's on here, like it's already breaking in some parts and just not very well done. And that's where their savings is really happening is with all those pieces. Well, another piece that broke <laughs> right here. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I just added to my tab. Another part that broke is like this plastic piece right here. When this monitor came down, boom, slapped that bad boy and broke the plastic. Now, plastic, I don't know, is plastic more brittle when it's cold? That would make sense, I think. I'm not a plasticologist. I don't know what the correct term for that is either. But I'm sure, like, you know, cold could affect plastic, more likely to break, uh, and that did snap. So, Overall, like there are so many different parts of this that I could critique from the chain to the handle, shock cord, but here's kind of the fact of the matter. This is a carbon copy of that with cheaper plastic and a cheaper monitor. That's pretty much what it comes down to. But the value difference between them, the reality is you could buy two of these right now based on the cost for a similar cost as one C2 rower. Now the C2 rower, there's a couple things to understand. It's not only very simple, maintenance-free, lasts a long time, and like just a tremendous piece of equipment, but the resale value on them is ridiculous. Like it's very hard to lose a lot of money on them. So if you don't end up using it, it's very easy to resell. This will not be that way. It doesn't have the name of Concept 2, which garners so much. So you have to like play that in. If you are on a budget and you're looking for a rower to try out or you're looking for something and you understand the limitations of this rower, which is like cheaper plastic, you just have to handle it a little bit more carefully, the monitor isn't as good, I would actually recommend this. It's 538 bucks. There's a lot of people that can't afford a thousand dollar rower or shouldn't spend that much money on a rower that they may not use a lot, they're not sure if they're gonna get into it, that sort of thing where this could fit that bill. Personally, I'm a buy once, cry once type of person and that's what I often recommend, but I could definitely understand why you'd wanna spend half as much for a extremely, I can't put it into words, how close this is to that one in terms of its looks. Performance, eh, there's definitely an argument to be made, but most people aren't using this in this like super crazy way where they're doing a lot of hit workout, they're putting tons of meters on there you no, know, most people are just make, trying to make a simple lifestyle change and doing it as cheaply as possible for a home gym. Like I, I love having easy entry to that. And so for the price point, I'm impressed. All right, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Are there any other products out there that you're like, this one is exactly like this one, but it's cheaper. I love finding that kind of stuff. Glad we found this one. We'll put links below the like button for both of these. Regardless, I'll see you next time. Peace.